Hello and welcome back to another episode of Duffy and Chihuahua. Today we're going to be doing a really cool project. I have these pants that I accidentally cut when I was making our outdoor cat hut. And these are actually one of my favorite pairs of pants. They have these really cool uh, unicorns on the side. And so our goal today is to turn these pants into artwork so they don't have to be thrown away. If you guys like the tapestry I have behind me, it was actually created by one of my friends and I will leave a link in the description below to her shop. She does a lot of different tie-dye stuff and she is absolutely phenomenal. So if you guys are interested in any clothing or possibly a tapestry, definitely go check her shop out. The first step to our pants artwork journey is going to be cutting out our pants. And to do that, I'm going to try and stay as close to the seam as I can so we have as much room to work with as possible. I really hope this project turns out well or I'm going to be so sad about this. I seriously almost cried when I cut these pants. And this is actually not the first pair of pants that I have ruined on this channel. Uh, one of my first videos, I accidentally dropped glue on the crotch region of another one. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's the hole. The other side of these pants has the same design, so I'll be happy if we just get one good piece of artwork out of this. But I did go ahead and buy two canvases since we have two pant legs, and my hope is that both of these turn out good and they can go next to each other on my wall. So this is an 11 by 14 canvas, and I really guessed when I was at the store about what size I thought we would need. All right, I think this is going to work out for us. I'm just going to turn this over. And I have this staple done, and I've actually never used one of these before. I'm a little terrified of it, but hopefully this goes easy, and we're just going to staple this into our wood. We got a staple. I'm amazed at how well this is working. Um, I mean, all the reviews were from other artists and crafters who were like, oh yeah, I use these all the time to stretch my canvases over the frame, but I was a little skeptical. I'm gonna cut off some of our extra material and then we'll do our two other sides. So we have our two pant legs, and you can still see the cut over here. It's so small, I'm not even really that worried about it. To add some bling, I have some Swarovski crystals, and these are my favorite. They're extremely sparkly compared to any other kind of sparkles you can get. They are a little pricey. They normally run around $10 a package. And this package comes with smaller ones and larger ones. To adhere them on, I have E6000. This is my favorite glue by a long shot. It holds on to things so well. I use it for jewelry making a lot. Um, it's industrial strength glue, so this stuff's the shit. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a toothpick to start putting little dots on our thing, on our artwork. Start randomly placing these on our picture. Just a little dot of glue. And then one of our gemstones. I ended up grabbing a couple of tools I had on hand to make this a little easier. These aren't necessary, but if you've ever done a paint by diamond or anything like that, you'll have them. And this is just a little tray that holds gemstones. And then this pen picks up the gemstones really, really well. Um, I honestly don't know what these are called. They just come with the paint by diamonds that I do a lot, so I have quite a few of them. I am going to go in with the glue where our cut was just to kind of seal it off a little bit. That way it doesn't continue to fray. I don't know. I mean, it kind of blends in. It's like, here, I'll show you guys up close. So, yeah, I don't know. From far away, you can't see it so much. I 
And the E6000 dries kind of quickly, so I would work in small dollops. I love unicorns. Do I believe in unicorns? No. Do I love them? Yes. So I put a second one on our cut and it almost looks like a constellation. <laughs> Makes me tempted to continue making it look like a constellation. Let's do it one more, one more on the cut. And I'll show you guys up close what it looks like. So right here is where our cut is. And you guys can see it kind of looks like a constellation now. Not so much just a cut in the pants. I'm feeling pretty satisfied with it. I'm tempted to go in at the bottom. There's a couple stars down here, but they're really light. Yeah, so I have a lot more gems left that I could be putting on this, but I don't think I will. So these I'll probably put on my wall like this. A little staggered. I really like that they're going different directions. Well, thank you guys for joining us again. This was so cute. <laughs> so quick. He said he just got up here. He's a sweet guy. He's really the sweetest dog I've ever met in my whole life.